predominantly now we're going to uh, talk about the importance of youth as we say we have a lot of youth and um, a, a, you know a lot of people they're wasting their time on sundays i mean sunday is like chutti ka din hai har cheez se chutti hai namaz se chutti hai kamo se chutti hai oh sorry not namaz <laughs> so like you know sunday is like it's people really waste time and i i've heard people when i was doing my engineering almost like 15 years back the people used to say like i feel like you know anxious when sunday is coming because i feel really bored sunday bahut bore hota hai like time pass kaisa karu you know what as muslims there is no absolutely no concept of time pass musalmanon ke liye koi time pass concept hi nahi hai for us like every moment every second which we have we have to make our janna we have to uh, prepare we have to get ready our house of in jannah so that is what we do allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran wat taghi fi ma ataka allah dar al akhira whatever we have given you prepare your jannat with that whatever every uh, money you have every penny you have every second you have your body your eyes the resources whatever you have you have to prepare your children wabtaghi fi ma ataka allah dar al akhira wa la tansa naseebaka min ad dunya but don't forget the share of the dunya of course everything every resource whatever we have we will target akhirat but we will not forget the dunya means we live in dunya and we have to earn our rizq and then we have to work hard we have to study we have to earn we have to live a life get married but this is not the purpose the purpose is the pleasure of allah the purpose is working for the akhirat so this youth is actually a golden period in our lives don't underestimate this period of a life you are living in a golden age the youth age if you're young this is an awesome time you are healthy you are powerful your mind is sharp your memory is sharp you are vigilant you have the resources you can adapt to the technology so this is the golden period of your time which should never be wasted in fact allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran in surah kahf about the importance of youth those were the young people who who chose islam over anything else and what allah says innahum fitiyatun amanu bi rabbihim wazidnahum huda those were young people and they believed in allah and allah increased them in iman so the point to be focused i mean to be observed over here is they were youth allah taala could have said like they could have been like the rajal they were like men they were people but he specifically said youth because that is that is the golden age that is the age of distraction attractions you know all these whatever see in the world these days the boyfriend and girlfriend concept people are uh, running after the dunya the youth are after the you know the fahash and uh, all sort of bad things but this is the time when you need to control your most There's so many hadiths about the importance of youth in one hadith we get that uh, the seven people who get the shade uh, on the day of qiyama under the arsh under the shadow of the shade of the arsh are those youth who spend their youth in the time, in the uh, in the ibadat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the worship of allah because youth is a time when there is a lot of distraction when you have to control your nafs with so much distractions on facebook whatsapp instagram and youtube and all sort of uh, nonsense apps and you uh, tiktok and you know all kind of fights is available but in spite of that you control yourself wa ma man khafa maqama rabbihi wa naha nafsa 'anil hawa who feared allah and then naha nafsa 'anil hawa and control himself or herself from the desires of the soul the desires of the soul which takes you towards the evil controlling yourself from that in another hadith also we get it's like five things before five and one among them is take make the most of your youth of your youth before your old age 
because this youth is not going to last forever. You will not be young forever. Nobody ever was. Ask your parents. Ask somebody who is who has crossed at least forty years of age, fifty years of age. Ask them how fast the life has gone. How soon the youth has gone away. So this is a very precious time. And in fact, even ibadat, worship during this age, is very much rewarded. It's more rewarded than worship during old age. Because in old age, when everything said, uh, I mean, your kids are grown up, they're married, and everybody is old. You are old. Your wife's old. Or your husband's old. Uh, not much attraction is left. And then what else to do? Come on, let's go to the masjid. They sit in the mosque. Uh, eat one. Alhamdulillah, much appreciated. Much appreciated. But at that time, you don't have much uh, busyness. I mean, you're not very engrossed in other things. But this is a time, uh, there's so many attractions and distractions. In this moment, you control yourself and you focus on akhirat. Then you are absolutely on the right track, inshallah, bismillah. Alhamdulillah, tawfiq min Allah, that Allah has blessed us to be Muslims. He has gifted us this iman. This iman which so many people they don't have. But in spite of having that, they neglect it. They forget the importance of this iman. So Allah has blessed us. Allah has chosen us. So we, have, we are more responsible now. We have to make the most of this blessing. If you don't utilize this amazing period, amazing youth period of your life, then you'll pay a very heavy price. May Allah protect us all. So, with that said, I hope and everybody knows and understands the importance of youth. If you like this video, subscribe, press the bell button and share it with your friends.